Well, if you're just joining us now, you'll see that there's a few minutes already played of the first half. Unfortunately, we had a bit of a technology issue, but it's been resolved now. So uh, here we are. It's the UAE Premiership game between Dubai Exiles and Jebel Ali Dragons. Exiles Black, Dragons in blue. Current score, nil-nil. And just over three minutes played of the first half. A strong run was missed by Pele, taking us out of the Exiles 22, crossing the line into the Dragons 22. Here we are now, Connor Kennedy. And an option there. Fantastic tackle by Dragons on one of the Kruger brothers. Justin Walsh. And Exiles really putting the Dragons under pressure for the second time in the first five minutes. Taken quickly. Into the hands of Apelli as he got the Wait, take him through and he does! Exiles five. And the extra two being kicked, no problem at all. So Dragons to restart from the centre. was loose and picked up by Dragons, but it was knocked on, so the scrub exiles ball. with the ball. Brad before that set in the play. Exiles really driving through the Dragons defence right now. Lovely flat ball there and he's away. And there he goes around the edge of the park. Fantastic try from the Exiles. Great hands. Well set up with a few phases led by Brad into a pelly. The offload to the wings, as we know, exile so dangerous. And with a little over seven minutes played, exiles 12, dragons yet to score. Like 
say that completely the wrong way round. I can't remember what I said, but it's Exiles 12, Dragons are that le- le- yet to score. I'm not sure what I said. <laughs> okay, I'm coming off the radio mic. It's crackly again and I don't know why. It's had its new batteries. So for now I'm going to use the camera mic. Direct. Let's see what happens. No points on this occasion. So Miss Betty Davis, hopefully the crackling's gone. Let me know. Only a little bit of wind up here at the sevens this evening. And if anyone is wondering who Betty Davis is, is it's David Gen's mummy. David Gen, who is our hooker and number two for Dubai Exiles. David, a teacher at Nord Anglia School, one of Dubai Exiles' sponsors this year. And the ball comfortably taken by Exiles. I can see the blonde hair there of Matthew Mills with the number seven shirt on this evening. He's been a bit naughty there, so Dragons to take possession. Search about 10 yards off the XL's try line. Dragons now with the ball. Just fumbling the pass but picked up by, I think that's Brad. And terrible, terrible pass back but it was still recovered well enough by Exiles to keep possession. Very unusual for Brad to throw a wobbly like that but he picks up the ball yet again making the, the extra yards. Corel Thomas there. Scrum half for Dubai Exiles this afternoon. And again, that long, flat pass, trying to find his man out on the wing. Peter Killian, forming part of the front row this evening. And the ball cheaply given away. Big defensive kick there from the Dragons. with a throw now on the Exiles 22.
this time managed to get the ball through to the centre of the park with no handling errors. Brad eventually dumping his man, but I think this is going to be a possible yellow. Player being thrown into the ground. He's going to confer with his uh, assistant referee to see if there was any dangerous play there. it when we see the hand going into the pocket but it looks like it's going to be a yellow there it is so Brad Awaka into the bin for 10 minutes and he gets the first chicken of the afternoon so exiles now down to 14 players for the next 10 minutes and an opportunity for Dragons to capitalise on that with the extra man on the park. Exiles this evening looking to maintain their perfect win record not only this season but they have been unbeaten now for just over two years in all competition formats. Dragons will be coming out to spoil that and also with the Dragons win this evening it does enable them to access the playoffs for the finals. And the little cheeky chip through, picked up by Exiles. But the whistle has already been blown. And it looks like an earlier, earlier infringement, no advantage coming. Dragons now into the Exiles defence. Match officials looking, seeing what's going on. Trying to get round the edge, but Exiles standing firm on this occasion. And again. It's going to be another penalty to the Dragons. I'm trying to go to the left. And calls for a try, calls for a hold. And on this occasion, it's been held up. Great defensive work there from Exiles, but. With the Exiles! Dragons really putting them under a bit of pressure there. Opportunity now for Exiles to try and push themselves out of their 22. Ball picked up perfectly and Matthew Mills straight in with a tackle. And the ball being knocked on there by Dragons. Giving Exiles a scrum.
Exiles now with the opportunity to take the ball forward. As he looks for that last path, but possibility of a deliberate knock on there. Yellow. And again, not wanting to the confidence to make the decision straight away, confers with his assistant referee. And it looks like that's another yellow card. Dragons now with one in the bin. Both teams now down to 14 men on the park. Pick not quite making the edge. Picked up very nicely by Matthew Richards who chips it through and looks for the chase. But two well placed defensive exiles. Connor Kennedy now. Looks for the offload. It just wasn't there. Wasn't the right time but Exile still on the rampage. Oh, he had to dive to get his fingers on that ball. Bit of a hospital pass there. Fantastic defensive play there from Matthew Richards of the Dragons to catch the ball. Forward thinking with a chip and chase, but Exile's defence perfectly placed to receive the ball. Both the Kruger brothers playing this evening. Marcus in the 10. And in the 11 jersey. Both brothers causing problems for all the opposition throughout the season. In both 15s and 7s format. being sliced just finds itself going into touch. Exiles again push back just inside the 22. Opportunity for Dragons once again. Great work through the back line. Still Dragons. And again, not to be holding on. Connor Kennedy slotting the ball into the side of the park.
just over 23 minutes left, sorry, 23 minutes played, 17 minutes left of this first half. Exiles did well there to keep hold of the possession, just sprinkling about in Matt Mill's fingers, but either way, it goes to the men in black. And a very, very high ball. The fumble from the Dragons player putting himself under a little bit of pressure but they do win the penalty and the quick taps taken Exiles quick to recover the defence and again Exiles really getting up in the faces of, of Dragons and unable to move forward just now decision of play when there's no support behind you should have just either kicked that ball out or offloaded it to the man to his left decided to take it into the Dragons and completely backfire in there for the Exiles and now an opportunity for Dragons once again but this time looking to kick the three try and get some numbers on the board Bit of a schoolboy error there. Never try and take somebody on, or two people on, on your own when you've got nobody to back you up. Always get that ball out wide, offload it, and if you can't, simply kick it away. Don't take the risk. So an opportunity for Dragons now to get their first points on the board. Should be quite a simple kick, just to the left of the posts. And the flags are raised, three points to Dragons. now with the restart again a very very high ball the pat back not quite going as intended Dragons straight away with possession here comes the kick Nothing happening here, so it's going to be pulled back. No advantage. Finds touch. that Exiles are 
back up to the full 15 on the field. I can see Brad out there. Solid hands. Lucas Waddington now. Great carry, but just spilling the ball and having it ripped out. Right in front of the Dragon supporters are absolutely loving that. Very, very unusual for Lucas to have a handling error, but if the ball's going to get ripped, it's going to get ripped. Anthony Cap with the number eight jersey this evening. Jean Botez finishing off the last of his suspension following a questionable red card last month. in a wall but they're going to call it a knock on Dragons on the front foot. Certainly making the Exiles defence work. something special and again possession given away with a knock on over seven minutes left to play for this second half. And it also looks now like Dragons are also up to their full 15 personnel on the field.
Wow, what a drive from the Exiles there. Dragon still with possession. And this time the ball going the Exiles way. Dave again now with the throw. Finds his man. Brad to Walshy. Brad smashing his way into the Dragons defence there. Ball available. And Apelli now, also taking the ball forward. Brad again. Both these boys really wanting to puncture the Dragons' defence. Oh, and what a miss pass that was. Dragons loving it. time out for an injury so as we stop the clock four minutes left to go just to run through the squad for this evening Peter Killian, David Gann, Lucas Waddington Stephen Ferguson, Shane Apelli, Matt Mills, Anthony Cap in your pack, Karel Thomas Justin Walsh, Hans Kruger, Brad Awaku Marcus Kruger, Alfie Wilson and Connor Kennedy in that starting back line This guy really doesn't want to pass the ball to anybody, but he does almost, almost find his way through. Dragons kicking it away yet again. Well picked up there by Matthew Mills. He's got Walshy to his right, decides to cake it into the centres. Pelly trying to get his gas on, running into a blue. Oh, just spinning the full, full forward with great, great tackle there from Dragons. Fantastic tackle. Really putting Connor on his Connor on his backside, but the ball was knocked forward, so it will be a scrum down and Dragon's ball.
Exiles defence straight up in the faces of Dragons as they take the quick pass. Exiles looking to drive the ball forward. And another phase. Plenty of boys waiting for the opportunity to grab that ball and cross, cross the whitewash. And there it is! Match official finally waving, <laughs> holding his hand in the air as Exiles get a further five points on the board. Taking their tally now to 17. Still with the opportunity of a further two through the conversion. Alfie Wilson with the ball. I think. But also on the bench this evening we have Alex Fowler, Max Hennessy, James Crossley, Sajiva Chaturagu, Stefan Bacon and Tarek all ready to be called into action should it be required and it's a fantastically well struck kick but it did go just to the right of the posts and that's the half Exile 17 Dragons 3 and we will see you in a few minutes Regret isn't like a wound that heals. Regret is a tattoo, a permanent scar. Regret is having an idea for a business that consumes you, stops you from falling asleep. An idea that you believe will shake up the world's most exciting market. An idea that must happen now. And then choosing the wrong people to make it happen. There's a reason 14,000 businesses have chosen VirtuZone to bring their business ideas to life. VirtuZone are the UAE's company formation specialists. Licenses, visas, banking, VirtuZone does it all. They know the game. They've built the networks. They've been copied relentlessly. But they're still number one. Discover why. VirtuZone. Business set up with no regrets. VZ.ae. To everyone who only sees the worst, we say, look closer. Open your eyes to all that's good. 80 years of keeping people safe has sharpened our eyes to see more than most. And when we're protecting people, premises, and property, our experience helps us spot what others miss. Potential, positivity, progress. That's what we protect today. And it's how we protect tomorrow. Because we see what really matters. We see who we really help. We see how life can be when the world feels secure. Securitas. See a different world.
that was a very quick break. So, we start the second half of this UAE Premiership clash up here at the Sevens between Dubai Exiles and Jebel Ali Dragons. Exiles in black, Dragons blue. Exiles currently on 17 to Dragons 3. A few handling errors tonight from both teams, that being just one of them. But Dragons just holding on to possession. the hoof. Dragons loving a kick this afternoon and putting Exiles under a bit of pressure there with that kick. Opportunity for Dragons now. A stomping run there from the Dragons, but the offload was pretty poor. Dragons with a penalty in front of the posts. Just inside the Exiles 22. And they are going to look for the three points. Dragons now lining up for the three. And three, they comfortably score, taking their tally to six. Exiles with the restart. No problem. This time. Dragons on the front foot yet again. Connor Kennedy now. Matthew Mills taken to ground. And here go Exiles. He's got a man to his left with a quick pop, but wasn't required on this occasion. Exiles reset. And the offload on the edge of the park. Has he got enough to get through? And he does! Exiles yet again. 
making a quick fire mockery of the Dragons defence as they continue to puncture through with the speedy feet of the guys on the outside of the park. Taking exiles up to 22 points. And a nice opportunity in front of the posts. Flags raised, which can only mean one thing. Exiles have taken their tally now up to 24. Dragons in blue, now with the restart. Picked up by Stavo, offload to Matthew Mills. Matthew Mills, and the offload again to Apelli. Apelli loves a run, he's got support to his left. Anthony Cap smashing his way into the Dragons players. The offloads again, Peter Killian, Justin Welsh. It's not Justin Walsh at all, but somebody else for the Exiles dancing their way through. Exiles putting Dragons under immense pressure right now as Matthew Mills make it, tried to make his way to the line. And Brad. And the ball stolen by Dragons on that pass. Exiles players really slow to get back behind the, the line. Bit of a shoulder tackle there. And after a whistle. The whole movement now comes to a conclusion. Drakens knock on gifting exiles a scrum down right on the centre line of the park. And we are going to just have a quick pause. There is an injury being attended to currently to one of the Exiles players. <laughs> Exiles number four just having a bit of magic sponge there. Thomas, Exiles number nine, waiting patiently. Straight away, possession going back to Dragons.
taking the ball up to the Exiles 22. And the long ball out to the back is slipped, but the man in blue recovers it. And the miss pass there. Gathered up. Exiles defence this evening being up so quickly on the ball. Really not giving Dragons an opportunity to have a good run. Hence the scoreline and Dragons only so far managing the two three-point conversions through the penalties. being kicked just on the outside of the foot and he dropped it I would say that the ball went backwards so does the match official and after a bit of a scramble Exiles winning possession and going quickly as Apelli looks for the run through and picking up a further five. Fantastic work there from the Exiles in the last few minutes. Pelly, who I felt was a little bit quiet in the last few Premiership games. Didn't really hear his name bounding around the pitch that much. Certainly picking up his performance this evening and creating a lot of havoc for the Dragons defence looking very settled and like he's enjoying himself and that kick goes perfectly through the centre of the posts giving Exiles the extra two Bit of a manpower pet change. James Crossley now, international skydiving champion, joining the park in his blue boots, wearing the number 20 jersey. Radawaku being rested. Dragons now with the restart on oh, the ball just being dropped there right in front of the Dragons players being spilled forwards is going to be an advantage to Exiles nothing coming scrum down Exiles ball absolute zero humidity up here this evening it's not sticky or sweaty at all something's going on out there loads of handling errors in this game this evening from both teams
bit of a scramble there for the loose ball. Taken quickly. James Crossley. Straight away, first touch of the ball. Taken into ground. Exiles did well to recover the ball there. There is a man in blue, half dead on the floor. And the whistle, quite correctly, is going to be stopped for the injury. Some of the Dragons players getting a bit frustrated using some colourful language. Probably a few classroom insults such as my dad's bigger than your dad. Quick opportunity for Exiles to come together as a team and have a quick chat. 31 points to 6. Maybe decisions of how they're going to end the rest of this game. <laughs> 25 minutes still left to play the second half. Dragons player still on the ground. It's Matthew Richards. Hoping it's not his knees, but it looks like he is going to come off and will no longer be taking part in any in the rest of this game. scrum down Exiles ball Some great handwork there and passing from the Exiles youngsters Apelli to Killian offload into James Crossley Stavo just managing to pop the ball away Peter Killian Quite a few phases in now, and Exile still with possession. And 
this time holding on and the possession switches back to Dragons Enough to get the ball back up to the halfway line. Apologies for the signal issues, I can see my bar going up and down like a yo-yo, so I know we're getting a few buffering and stuttering issues, but I'm starting to get used to that up here at the sevens, with the signal pinging around with Dragons. Now for the first time in a while having a run at the Exiles defence as he dances his way through. it back for a high tackle going to say an opportunity for Dragons there but he's knocked the ball on as Taz now joins the pack like the clock is off whilst another injury is being attended to just to the left of your screen so current score 31 exiles dragon six twenty minutes left to go Back on. Exiles with a scrum about six, seven yards off their own try line. Superb drive by, drive by Exiles. Brilliant scrum. And winning a penalty in the process.
great fast hands there from Exiles. Oh, where was he? This is going to be a free ball to Exiles now. Not sure what the Dragon was doing where he was. There's offside and then there's offside. Exiles win another penalty. Fantastic line there from Matthew Mills and he breaks, makes a break for it. Spilling the ball backwards but Exiles keep hold of the ball. Not quite sure what Pelly was doing there but he fancied his chances. And another great running line from Exiles. Really trying hard to puncture the Defence of the Dragons and the chip through. Just, just going into touch. About a yard from the try line. Great heads up rugby from the Exiles there. Looking for all sorts of ways to try and find their way through. As Dragons make another substitution for yet another injury. Exiles with the quick line out. Oh, you should have just kept going. Fantastic hands, James Crossley just being grabbed by the ankles. And again, back inside. Bit of pinball wizard going on. Bit of a long pass to nothing. Matthew Mills still Matthew Mills referee not happy with that saying the ball was knocked forward and the time is off yet again for another injury this time, Exiles having a breather. Currently, two persons receiving treatment right now. 
Exile's just making his way to his feet. Can't quite see who it is walking back across the park. It might be Anthony Cap, it might not be. But yeah, Exiles number eight, Anthony Cap was receiving the treatment, but he's back in the game as he just comes across now. Discussions currently going on on the side of the park, possibly to do with front row replacement. The time is back on, and it's going to be a dragon scrum. for the wing and he's almost away being spilled out and Exiles now with the ball and <laughs> three of them just stood there watching the ball hit his body Alex Fowler back on the pitch now so Carell Thomas having a breather Peter Killian with the offload to Matthew Mills. Matthew Mills with a bit of gas in the tank. Giving the ball back to Peter Killian, continuing the run. Anna Pelli. And the offload there to James Crossley. Exiles with another try. Taking their lead now with a score of 36 to the Dragons 6. Players looking quite tired out there this evening. It is quite a late kickoff, 7.30. Most people obviously at work. Just over 10 minutes left to play. And an opportunity now for another two. As the ball is easily slotted over. No effort at all. And another retiree off the field for Dragons. So Dragons really have lost their shape somewhat. Quite a few injuries unfortunately for their team this afternoon. Or should I say this evening? Exiles also having a bit of a manpower change. 
giving the, an opportunity to the guys that have been sat on the bench this evening. It's comfortably taken by Taz. Trying to steamroll their way through. Alex Fowler. Great tackle there by Dragons. And the ball is lost, but the whistle has gone. Ball stays with Exiles. Justin Walsh. Doing the do. And again, putting Dragons under pressure. Again now with the throw. And here he goes, and there's a Pele. As I said, he's really seems to have picked his game up on this match today. As he crosses the line yet again. up to try for the extra two. And the kick is good. There's the flags just swinging it in at the last minute to pull it inside of the right post. Styles 45, Dragons 6. Cheeky little restart there from Dragons. Totally worked in their favour and caught the Exiles off guard. Exiles defence this phase up incredibly quick. Losing possession momentarily. Dragons, can they find their way through? And another penalty, taken quickly. Where's he going to go? Is he going to be able to dance his way through? What an offload, superb try. Absolutely fantastically worked try there from the Dragons. Finally, let in their first try of the evening.
Exiles giving away some silly penalties. Kick coming to nothing. Less than five minutes left to play. pinging everywhere again but it looks like Exiles have secured it Alex Fowler running in to shoot the ball out to the next phase Peter Killian taking the ball through James Crossley and the ball finding its way into the side of the park and block off for another injury Treatment still going on for the Dragons player. Finally bringing himself to his feet. dip into the final three minutes of this premiership clash between Dragons and Exiles up here at the Sevens Dragons find themselves with possession and the ball was to be kicked through but just looked like it tapped an Exiles player on the way through and silly penalty given away yet again In the last few minutes, Dragons really looking like they're up for a fight and wanting to get another couple of tries on the board. I think winning the game's out of reach, but they're not giving up. And a huge kick there from the Dragons. Pushing themselves up to the five metres from the Exiles try line.
and the short throw in. Dragon still on the push, winning a penalty. Exiles defence still holding. Desperately looking for a way through. Alex Fowler taking him down. And the chip through. And I'm going to call that as a try. So does the match official. And Dragons coming alive in the final minutes of this game. Exiles seemingly going to sleep. it is the natural end to the game let's see if the whistle goes is there enough there for the extra two and the flag stay down and that is the end of the game exiles 45 dragon 16 So the Exiles hold on to their unbeaten record of the last two years and remain at the top of the table. So hold tight and keep checking in with the Dubai Exiles social media to see how this pans out now for the semi-finals and the finals of the 2021-2022 season. Thanks for tuning in. And we will see you again soon.